This is Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are a Reality. For March 24th, I have a saying or a reading from Acts of Faith, Yala Bonzant's book. It ain't that I don't believe in God. I just don't trust his judgment. Terry McMillan. And it says, comma, mama. Can you relate to that? There are 51 ways to get help from God. And you all know it's way more than that. But 51 ways are listed here. Ask for it. Believe. Recognize help when it comes. Listen. Obey. Love. Praise. Forgive. Be real. Seek truth. Face yourself. Be honest. Order understanding, silence, simplicity, purify, no, grace, joy, peace, trust, natural law, balance, harmony, self-sufficiency, dream, self-discovery, right thinking, right action, right reaction, breathe, shut up, yeah, that's a good one, be still, feel, live now, friends, parents, children, openness, Realization, relaxation, laugh, patience, give, cry, create, judge not, oneness, faith, surrender, living in and with the ways of God places you in alignment with the substance of God. Help is on the way. Choose five of the 51 ways listed to demonstrate how you access God's help. How would you describe your experience? Well, I can just talk on those five things. I'm going to choose five. Love. That's one. I choose love. In a world of war, what we are watching right now, and we watched for many years, and what Marvin Gaye say, war is not the answer. Why not choose love? Instead of being petty, Instead of having hate, envy, jealousy, strife, I choose love. Love always feels better. And I have to start with myself. When we have self-love, we can have love of others. And as I tell my young teen girls that I work with at my high school, you don't have to be best friends with every student at this school. But it is good to show love and respect to your classmates. And they'll get it as they get older, hopefully. Even us, as we have coworkers that may not be our type, and that's okay. One thing I learned will work, especially when we were in person or when I was in a different field where you were literally in the office every day with people that maybe their personalities didn't mesh with yours. I learned this as a 19-year-old, where really it kicked in in my 20s. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to make an almighty dollar. I can show love to my coworkers. Maybe the more difficult ones show love and get away from them. But I'm there to make money. And once we learn that, and just show love. There's some people you show love to from a distance. You're not going to be able to be up and close and personal with everybody, even family and friends sometimes. So I choose love. Forgive. I must forgive those that have wronged me because I have wronged others. Even unintentionally, we still hurt people. And sometimes they never tell us. But we have to look inward and stop thinking, we are so right. Have you ever talked to someone who went through a divorce? Hey, why did you get a divorce? Well, he did this and he did that. She was this way. She was that. So you mean to tell me in that marriage, only one person did everything wrong and the other person did everything right. It's not true. It's not possible. We have to look inward and take the blame. Now, people that are real close to me, they'll tell you, oh, Tammy threw herself under the bus. In a heartbeat, even my friends be like, you hard on yourself. I have to be. 
because I'm the only one that can correct me, you know, in that way. I'm the one that can change me for better. So I'm hard on myself because I know I could be better. I could do better. And part of being better is forgiving those that may have wronged you intentionally, unintentionally. Forgiving is not for the other person. It's for you. Peace. I choose peace. And this is how I get help from God. I just did a 13-minute meditation. I journal every day. I choose peace. If, if it's a negative situation, I try to get away from it. And this is how God helps me. And I'm happy. This makes me happy to be peaceful, to show love. Let me see another one. Shut up. <laughs> I like that one. Ways to get help from God. Shut up. I want you to do a surveillance or a survey of all your friends and your family members. How many can you get on the phone or even in person and they really sincerely listen to you? Everybody wants to talk. But, oh, baby, baby, if you find the one that listens to you, you have found a gem. Everybody needs somebody. And sometimes we don't want to hear talking. I want you to pay attention. People are going to have the right answer for your life. Hey, have you ever thought about doing this? Hey, you should do that. Hey, and it's really... It could be kind of annoying after a while if a lot of people do that to you. I really try to listen to my friends, and maybe I'm biased, but I think my friends know what's best for them. I'm not their mama. They don't need a friend to say, hey, you should do this. Hey, you should do that. Now, if they have a problem or an ailment, I'll try to offer help, and only because I probably went through it and I think, you know, maybe that'll help them. But I'm not going to say, hey, have you thought about buying a house in this place? Hey, you should go work for this company. Hey, you know, I just don't think grown people need to hear that. So sometimes if we just shut up <laughs> and listen, it, it does wonders. It does wonders. How many did I do? Oh, I already did four. Love, forgive, peace, and shut up. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, last but not least, let's see. Faith. What in the world can you do without faith? If you don't even have faith, why get up in the morning? Faith is what makes you walk around your house. Faith is what makes you take your breath because you feel you have more breath coming. That's having faith. Faith is when your back is up against the wall, you barely have the money to pay your bills, you believe more is coming. Faith is when you get the bad diagnosis, and <laughs> I can relate to that one, and you're terrified. But you have faith that you are going to survive because God has helped you thus far, and he will never leave you. Faith is when you are heartbroken. You had your mind set on this person for the rest of your life and they drop a bomb on you faith is knowing that i'm going to be okay because i have been through worse faith is when you lose both of your parents and those are the worst times in my life one of them two of them and you know that eventually this pain that i feel this shock that i feel it will subside and, and faith, the faith in God will get me through this. Faith is when you are at a job you despise, but you have to get up each day and show up there. That's faith, because you know God is going to bring you a better opportunity. Faith. So out of all those things I named, I know I named a lot, what do you use in your life? God is real. God is real. And... He's brought me from a mighty long way. I remember many years ago, oh, 20 plus, 
20 plus years ago, I had a friend. And me and her both were struggling with depression bad. And she said, let me ask you something. She said, I, I noticed that you keep bouncing back. Although you're depressed, you still seem happy sometimes. I told her, well, I believe in God. And she proceeded to say, I don't want to hear about that God stuff. And I told her, I have nothing else for you because that's all I know. Because I was taught the Bible as a five-year-old. And that's that's the belief that I have. And it's got me to 51, almost 52. So I'm going to stand on it, rock on it, and keep believing. And that's my belief. Let me tell you about me. I don't push my belief on nobody. I don't talk about what they believe in. I focus on what I know to be true for me. This is Tammy Sharice Walker. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Share this with friends and family that may need uplifting. And again, that was from Acts of Faith, the beautiful Iyala Von Zunt book, who shares a birthday with me. Well, I share a birthday with her. She older than me, September 13th. Alrighty, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.